Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Fossil Hybrid HR smartwatch. It was released back in fall of 2019, and a lot has changed since it was first released. Now that it's one years old, we'll take a look at some of those changes, as well as my thoughts on using this as a daily driver. Welcome back to another review from Reviews for Life. Let's begin. The watch I purchased was the HR FB01 with a white stainless steel bracelet. When I picked it up, the first thing I noticed is the weight. Separately, the watch face comes in at 60 grams and the bracelet weighs in at a hefty 93 grams. Just for comparison, here is a minimalist watch face that weighs only 33 grams. There's a total of three buttons on the right side and can be customized using the Fossil app. I tried playing around with the crown, which to my surprise, doesn't actually rotate. On the back, there's a heart rate sensor along with two LEDs and contacts for the magnetic charger. The watch also has a few handy gestures. A quick twist rotates the hands 360 degrees allowing all the icons to become visible. Most of the reviews I've seen mention that the LEDs can be activated by tapping twice on the watch face. But what they didn't mention is that this can actually be activated by tapping anywhere on the watch, including the bezels. As you can see, this lighting is extremely uneven, but works in a pinch. While pressing the top button toggles the e-ink display and long pressing the middle button enters the system menu. To reset the watch, hold down the middle button even longer until the prompt. The app has a very clean interface and customization options are pretty intuitive. Under the customization tab, the buttons, e-ink background, and watch face icons can all be changed. Under the notification tab, there's the ability to select any number of notifications. The rest of the tabs simply display biometrics such as heart rate, sleep, and step count. What's neat is that this app is actually able to connect with Google Fit and sync with it automatically. So how about the usage? Well, honestly, I was quite disappointed when I first got the watch. The hands would often cover one of the info icons and traversing through the notifications was frustrating at best. I was especially annoyed by the interface and was ready to get rid of the watch. But what made me change my mind was to treat it more like an analog watch rather than a smartwatch. This means I still ended up using my phone for most of my reading and responding to notifications, but I can now look at my watch to evaluate its urgency. In terms of battery, I was able to get around 10 to 12 days between charges. Charge time was also very fast, going from 20% to 100 in around an hour. A cool party trick is to use the watch for controlling the phone's music. This is especially handy when the phone is charging or when it's connected to an external speaker. One of the downsides is that when I'm clearing notifications on the watch, it doesn't always synchronize with my phone. However, when I do it the other way and clear notifications on my phone, that does synchronize with the watch. I asked Fossil about this and they confirmed the issue and said that they're working on improving it in the future. Although basic features such as timer, stopwatch, and music controls are implemented well, the only issue I have with this is that accessing them is not that easy. Unless, of course, they're set as a button shortcut. Other issues include the weak vibration motor, and this is especially true since there's no way to customize the vibration strength or pattern. So when I'm driving, I would often ignore a notification by mistaking it for a bump in the road. Okay, the summary. This watch has a retail price of $215 but you can often find it on sale for 30 to 50% off. What's interesting to me is that feature-wise, 
The Xiaomi 5 fitness tracker does everything that this can do and can be had for $30. Now, I do realize that they're completely different devices and are targeting completely different audiences. But if you don't actually care about the looks and are interested in only the notifications and time, then a fitness tracker would be a good alternative. To me, this watch sits at a nice middle ground between an analog watch and a fully featured smartwatch. I think $215 is a little steep, but if you could find one on sale, then it would definitely be a good value. Overall, I would recommend this if you're looking for an analog watch that's also capable of receiving notifications. All right, that's it from me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.